Hi, I'm Rich Trithui. Every house needs a clean, consistent supply of fresh water. And millions of houses in America get their water from a privately owned well, like this one. Now this homeowner contacted us. Everything was going fine, and then one day, her water system changed. Let's take a look. Richard, thank you for coming down. I'm glad to be here. So why am I here? We're having a problem with the shower water. It, the pressure is fluctuating. It's, it's up and it's down, and it's just driving me crazy. We came down into the basement, and I heard this clicking sound over this From way. down here? Yeah, down in this area. Well, let me just explain how a basic well system works. First of all, you need to have a pump. Sometimes the pump is inside right here, but in your case, the pump is submersible. It's down at the bottom of the well where the water is. Mm -hmm. You also have a pressure switch right here. This is what brings the pump on. It's trying to bring the pump on to give you about 50 pounds of pressure up at the faucets. Now, if that's the only two components we had, the pressure switch and the pump, every time you open up that faucet, the pump will be on and off, on and off. It'll burn out in no time, and they're expensive. Now, any well system needs to have a tank, and that tank has an air charge at the top and water at the bottom. Now, that provides a reservoir of water ready to go under pressure so you can open up the faucet and not bring the pump on. Anytime I hear about your symptom, the clicking and the fluctuation, it suggests that the tank has failed on the inside. The tank has failed? Yep. It's only a few years old. Well, that can happen. Oh, wow. But fortunately, we are right around the corner from the people who invented the well tank. Let me run and get one, and we'll be right back. Thank you, Richard. Well, Tim, this is quite a place you got here. Well, thank you very much. Welcome, Richard. This is our education center here at Amtral. What we do is we bring in engineers, contractors, and building owners. We buy all kinds of well tanks, cut them open, talk about how they're made and how they're used. Almost looks like a laboratory. It is almost like a lab. Could you educate me? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Most well tanks are made out of steel. All right, but no water actually touches the steel, right? That's correct. So what we do is we start off with a polypropylene liner. That way it's not going to give us any kind of funny odors or tastes. Okay. That drops right in there with a nice form fit, you'll see. Look at that, like a glove. Yeah. You guys are good. So the water comes from the well pump right into the bottom here, into this lower chamber, but you still need a diaphragm above it. That's correct, and that's Amtral's pride and joy. Amtral actually invented the diaphragm tank in 1954. We use a butyl diaphragm twice as thick as anyone else. Okay. So other people don't use butyl? No, some people can use a blend of rubber, okay. and it can make your water actually taste like you're drinking a glass of tires. I wouldn't want that. No. All right, so that goes this way? Yep, that just drops right in. All right. But now the important seam is really between these two materials, right? The polypropylene and this butyl. That's right. How do you guys do that? Well, what we do is we have a very high power machine. It's called the hoop groover. And it actually makes this groove right in here, locking the diaphragm in place with a nice positive seal. Hoop groover. That's right. You said that three times fast. <laughs> All right, so I can see it made an imprint right here. It really makes a nice tight seal right there. Well, Tim, thank you so much for the tour. It was great. Well, you're welcome. And your tank's already on its way down to that job you're site. Good. Thank you very much. Before I leave, your safety glasses. Great. Anytime. See ya. Helping with our installation today is local well professional John Lemmy. John, thanks so much for your help. No problem. Hey, I got a chance to tour the Amtro facility. Pretty impressive. Amtro builds a great tank. My family's been in this business for three generations. It's the only tank we've ever used. I will take that as high praise. We all set to go? We are now. Thanks, John. I'm going to go check in with the homeowner. Well, Karen, John is all set. The water's back on. Ready to do the honors? Sure. Now, look at that. Steady pressure, no fluctuation, just as it should be. That's great. Hopefully, this tank's going to last. You know what? I saw the way these tanks are made. I don't think you have to worry about that. Well, that'd be great. Would you like a glass of water? I'd love one. 